Okay, here we are in Logic, and I've just got a basic thing set up with the uh, Ultra Beat, which is uh, playing an internal pattern, and the ESM, which is playing just a little bass line thing. Right? Okay, let's just look at this Ultra Beat first. It's just playing the internal pattern look. Okay, so on the UMA25S with it just set on preset 1, what's basically happening is whichever track I select, the UMA25 will, will be controlling that track, so you don't need to even change preset. Uh, so the way I, I just basically um, just got logic to learn the top row of pots across the top of the UMA, so what I did was to do that I went into Preferences, um, what was it? Automation, and then here. Um, you can always use automation quick access, of course, to it. just edit any controller lane, but that's just one pot only at a time can be tweaked. Okay, so I just went here to edit. Let me just close this box. Okay, and what I've done is this opens the controller assignment box. Let me just shut the uh, ultra beat. And uh, I basically set up one thing here for the Ultra Beat by just pressing plus and typing in Ultra Beat, and then another one for the ESM. And it's quite simple, really. Um, all you do is you just open up, in the case of the uh, ESM, for example, just select its track, open it up. Okay, look. I have at the moment not assigned everything on the ESM because I don't want everything on it. I've I've uh, I've only mapped overdrive, filter intensity, filter decay, resonance, cutoff, and the mix control for between saw and square wave. Right. Okay. So let's say if I wanted to map one other thing, let's say the glide. All right. What I do is I'm uh, going to make sure I'm in. I mean, I decided to split them up into these separate lists. You know. Um, which is much more convenient because then on here you only have just the controls for that particular synth. Uh, here I've got controls for my transport, you see. Okay, so ESM. I'll show you how to map one extra control, the glide. So you just put it in learn mode and then all you do is you go to the ESM, just choose, just click glide and up here it says ESM glide and I'll go over to my keyboard and I think which pot was available. That's um, that's mix, resonance. Oh, sorry, cut off resonance, initial filter intensity, filter decay. I think that one is free. So I just wiggle that, and it's done. Now I then unclick learn mode, and if I did click uh, use a pot that already was assigned to something else, we're going to find out. Hang on. Yeah, this control is already assigned to another parameter. Do you want to reassign the control? I'll cancel that. All right, let's do it again. Which pot isn't working? I'll tell you what, the best way to find out. So let me just wiggle the pots, right. So that's adjusting the mix. That's adjusting cutoff. That's resonance. That's decay. That's intensity. Right, that one isn't mapped. E14, so I'll map that right. Here we go. Learn mode. Click glide. In fact, it's remembered glide was the last thing I clicked, right? And now I'll wiggle E14, and that's now mapped glide to, to E14. Unclick learn mode, and you don't get that warning message now because it wasn't previously mapped to another control. And now, if I just wiggle E14, it adjusts me glide. So I can now, I'll just mute the drums, and I now just um, hit play, and what I've got is that's me glide. Uh, that's me glide. Okay, from the from the top then. Sorry, mix. Cut off. Resonance. Envelope decay. Intensity.
etc. Okay, so that's how I did the SM. Now if I just mute that and then go to the Ultra Beat and here with the Ultra Beat what I've done is I've just assigned that top row of pots to the mixer level on the Ultra Beat for the drums. Now obviously if you got into using Ultra Beat properly rather than using these default factory kits you, you would just load up the slots with drums working from the bottom up wouldn't you? Um, but again you can map them to anything you like so for example all I've done is I've changed track now look I don't even have to change the preset on the UMA so I've changed to the um, to the I've changed now to the ultra beat there and here's its controller assignments there look voice one two etc they're all all I've done is I've mapped the mixer levels and that's these sliders for the volume so if I press play now it's playing an internal pattern mute the ESM. okay so these are just controlling the volume for all the drums you can see them turning themselves down on the see that that's the hat that's the closed hat you notice how there's a jump between this one and that one I haven't mapped the keys in between so it's easy to map any key uh, any volume control to any of these knobs just do it like when I showed you with the ESM that's not playing a drum that's the snare that's like a clappy thing another snare that's nothing and a kick So then it becomes a little drum mix, you know. But I could assign it to any parameter I wanted. Again, you do it just like with the ESM to assign a different parameter, you know. Like, for example, let's say I wanted to assign it's not hard, is it? It's not easy, this is because not much space. Let me drag this off screen a bit. But let's say I wanted to assign, I don't know, uh, what could I assign? Let's say I was going to assign this here. All I have to do is touch it, click learn mode. Okay, and uh, I've, I could just move, I don't know, in this case I could use the mod wheel. There you go. And that's changed the level control for the, for the ultra beat. Done and dusted. D tick learn mode. Get that out of the way. Now that should respond to the mod wheel. There you go, look. So I just. that's the volume, not the mixer, but the volume for the selected channel. So if I choose the kick, oh it is, it's on an individual instrument basis. All right, so that's just adjusting, um, just the snare, just number one, two, three, four, five, just the fifth. Okay, anyway, that's how easy it is to map things. And you just change track and then you're, you know, working on the next thing. Of course, you can set up different controllers, numbers and things for each of your presets. But I did all that with just preset one, just using basic CC controllers, yeah? It's that easy. Okay, um, so that's how you do that. Easy peasy. Okay, I uh, hope that's been useful.